So to start off with A plus B, we have everything is at zero, so we have our zero flag on. But now we are going to add negative 15 and negative 15, which will output negative 30, which is shown here, 11110, with the negative flag up. And next, we are going to do operand 001, which is A minus B. And with A minus B, we are going to do 1010 one, one, and 0101. One. And what will happen is we'll have negative 6 minus 5, which will give us negative 11, which is 1010, one, or 1. And it is shown on the LEDs above the operand. And next, we will be doing the operand of 010. Zero, zero. And this operation will be A plus 1. And so what we will be doing is we are just going to set A at 0, 0, 0, 001, or A will be the value of 1. And what will happen is 1 plus 1 will equal 2, which is shown above the operand. And so next, we will be doing the operand 0, 1, 1, which is A times B. And for these values, we will be using A as 4 and B as 8. And this should output 32, which is shown here. Since because it will be over in the overflow, we have to use the multiply buffer. And so this is binary code 1 with five zeros after it, which is 32, which is 8 times 4. And so for our next operand, we'll be doing 100, which is A and B. And we'll be using A is 1011, and B will be 0110. And this will output on our over our operand 0010, because it'll only output a 1 if both A and B have a 1 in a specific bit. And our next operand will be A or B, which will be 101. And the numbers we will be using will be A is 1001, zero, zero, one, and B will be 0101. Zero, zero, and so an OR operand, if anything is 1, it'll output a 1. So we are outputting 1101. One, one. That's because for the second bit there, for LED1, we have two zeros, which will output a zero. And for our next operand, we're doing an XOR, which is 110. And the values we will be using is A is 1111, and B will be 0101. And this should output 1010 due to the or, XOR operand, because if there are two ones, then if there's a 1 and a 0, it'll output a 1. But if there are two 1s, it'll output a 0. It is the opposite of an OR gate. And so for our last operand, we'll be doing 1, 1, 1, 1, which will be not A. And since this only uses the, a, the uh, input A, we will be selecting input A as 1, 1, 1, 1, which with a not, it'll become 0, 0, 0 on our output. And we have our 0 flag up because of that.